Hey guys, welcome to another video. We're Philly and Keely, and for the last two years we've been living in our self-converted van, Martha, and the last three months of that I've been exploring the very beautiful Turkey. In last week's video you seen us hit up Istanbul, and this city is insane. We have loved it. So in today's video we're going to be sharing some of the sick vegan spots we find with lots of traditional Turkish cuisine. We even find ourselves some vegan baklava, street food, Istanbul has it all. When we arrived in Istanbul, we realized it has three distinct regions, the Asian side, the European side, and Old Town. And even though Google Maps makes you think there's no vegan spots in Old Town, there is lots of street food. All right, partner. All right, all right. Yeah, we want chestnuts. Yes. Chestnuts yes. sounds good. How are you? Are these best chestnuts in Istanbul? Yeah, chestnut, Turkish energy. 150. Yeah. yeah are these the best ones in Istanbul? Istanbul. Best ones? <laughs> <Yeah>. Istanbul. <laughs> Thank you so much. In your mind. Sorry. What is Covid? <laughs> Thank you. No Thank you, Thank you so much. much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Amazing. It looks like a little green. Best in Istanbul. This is your first. You've never had chestnuts before. Only ones we found when we were in some country and made them ourselves. Curry poisoned us. I don't know what to say. It tastes like, but it's nice. Yeah. I don't really understand what it tastes like. It tastes confusing. It's kind of like a sweet mashed potato. A sweet mashed potato. There you go. You've heard it here. It's yum. So final review of chestnuts. They're not bad, but I'm not sure they're going to be my my treat of choice. The taste almost a bit like cauliflower or something. I really can't put my finger on it, but you should try them. They are good and they're going to keep me uh, satisfied until the next thing, but I think this will be a one-time try. <laughs> now we're heading over to Newtown on the European side to check out a cool area we've heard about called Karakoy. The whole time we've been in Turkey, we've really wanted to find some baklava, but unfortunately baklava is definitely not vegan. However, this place in Istanbul is meant to have some vegan stuff, so we're very excited to go check it out. There actually is vegan stuff. I came in here, I wasn't really sure if there would be, but there is. Even though it's not too busy in here, it feels hectic because there's just all these guys working with the baklava. Their hands are moving so fast, chopping it, scooping it, putting it in the boxes. They feel like proper pros. Is yeah. All of you? For me? Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Yay. We may have went a bit overboard. This is vegan. This is the most luxury baklava we're probably ever going to experience. Oh, very straight in. <laughs> straight in, no kissing there. Oh, yeah. Pistachio and That's walnut. That's a mix. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's sticky. Is it good? It's really good. Oh, I can't wait to taste it. Okay, let's go. Okay, yeah, so this must be the pistachio one, just a bit green. Oh my word. It tastes really like pistachio. <laughs> but I mean, it's, funny, yeah. it's, it's incredible. I'm very happy to find vegan back with that. The most luxurious looking place you could imagine. They had like guys in white aprons like guiding you and it's all like gold and ornate. It's gonna cheers you but you've already swallowed yours. Cheers! So we're in this place called Hanameli Vegan which doesn't have a menu. You're meant to just like pick and choose from the platters and I'm gonna say this food looks so good. It smells great as well. It's, as soon as I walked in, I was like, this place smells delicious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Eat some authentic food, isn't it? Yeah, it's so, so, so delicious. It tastes very authentic Turkish. It's super delicious. Really good, genuinely recommend here. It seems lovely too. 
Yeah, the host is an incredible chef. She's super friendly. Definitely come check this place out. So after an awesome day exploring around the Karakoi region, our next step on the agenda is to check out Katakoi on the Asian side. So there's so many cool, quirky little cafes here. Yeah, like pretty much everywhere we walk by, I want to go in. Yeah, I feel like I'm spoilt. So we've been in Turkey for ages and everyone loves Turkish breakfast, but it's got cheeses and stuff in it and yogurt. And so we've never felt like there's any point in us ordering it because we wouldn't be able to eat half of it. But I'm very hopeful this place is gonna have some <laughs> but it's very delicious. This is a good shot. Very good shot. So to give rundown, we've got avocado, peanut butter, roasted peppers, olives, various types of chutneys, sauces, jams. And this is like the little fried donut -y thing. It's super yum. Two hours later. What's your favorite? Okay, it's all divine, but I'm telling you now, this is the best jam I've ever had. He laughed at me because he's like, all jam just tastes the same, but if you're in the jam, you gotta come here. <laughs> Would you so say okay. that this is your jam? That, that jam is my jam. jam is <laughs> that jam, jam is my jam. <laughs> okay, halfway, I think I've tasted pretty much everything, and it's friggin' all delicious. Very, very delicious. I just can't get over the size of this plate. It's like, here's my thumb. For perspective. Yeah, but you have a really big thumb. Give my thumb for perspective. Look at my little tiny midget thumb. We could get some fried dough. So this bowl. Oh, if that's this shit, you need to get it. I swear it's yeah, heaven on earth. This donut thing is heaven. As you can see, King is very excited right now. It's all so good. What a winner. Yeah. Thanks, this thumb Slowly but surely. Do you think that's the minimum thing? Oh, okay. I love how you just want to like, see it really sweet, to see it really sweet. Yeah. I had some jam and avocado on Mum's spoon a minute ago and I have no regrets. I feel like we've just been sitting here chatting while eating for ages. It's very different than just like one meal where that's all you're focused on eating. This is much more like sociable feeling. I liked it. Yeah, for Verdi and Michael had to get more food because <laughs> it was taking us so long to eat this. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. That's quite a hefty cheers. <laughs> this place is called Mugja. Mugja. Feel free to correct me how I spell that in the comments below. The staff here are really friendly, it's got good vibes, the food is friggin' delicious. We think it's good value, so I definitely recommend it. And I know he'll joke that I recommend everywhere, but trust me, there's places I've eaten that I wouldn't put in video. So if I put it in, it's because it's good. High five? size of this tray. <laughs> wow. You give one of these in the van. Uh, that'd be like the size of our whole bed. I'm a bit <laughs> afraid. I'm gonna set it yeah, down. Yeah, please set it down. <laughs> She's laughing at me. She's like, set it down, this crazy chick. Let's go back to Old Town. Even though Old Town doesn't have a lot of vegan restaurants, it has a lot of street food that is vegan friendly. It's easy me get chestnuts the other day. Now I'm gonna try some corn on the cob. Let's go. So you can either get it just boiled or you can also get it charred, so I'm going to try it charred, why not? <laughs> yeah, baby. Pretty much everywhere in Istanbul, they all cost 8 Turkish lira at the minute, which is about 45p. It feels really hot, I'm a bit afraid to eat it and burn myself. Will I try? Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. I mean, it's just corn on the cob, but the like big sprinkle of salt on top is yum. Uh, super hot. 
You know what? I don't think it's very fair that we're doing this whole vegan thing and you, I'm behind the camera all the time, so you get to eat everything. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I approve. The salt's good, isn't it? Okay, bye. Okay. One of the last very typical Turkish things, commonly you see guys walking with stacks of these up on their head, is a thing called simits. Simits? 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 I think so. I love all things bready, so <laughs> hopefully it's good. Hello. Okay, one. I'm thinking that it's a cross between a bagel and a pretzel, that's what I think. Let's see. My assumption was 100% bang on. It's literally a cross between a sesame bagel and a savory pretzel. Yeah. That's good. My turn. Oh my word, imagine that dipped in some hummus, that'd be heaven on earth. Mmm, that's pretty good. It actually is good. To get a vegan friendly when you can't get Nutella or any of that stuff, get it plain. I mean, if I could find good hummus, I would probably just carry a tub of hummus about with me and get these because this is legit, actually really good. See, being vegan's not so hard. Now back to the van and off into Katakoi to check out some more vegan restaurants. So we've just arrived at a place called Yuzu, which is a vegan sushi place. Now it shuts at nine, we've arrived at like 20 to nine. I'm excited to try and get some food. Thankfully we've got a table for the four of us. I'm definitely been craving some vegan sushi for ages, so let's try this place out. <laughs> this place has got uh, set menus, so we were originally planning to just get two set menus and show all the different sushi stuff, but then their mains looked insane. I could not give up the opportunity for a delicious looking coconut curry, and I'm an absolute sucker for gyoza. It smells incredible in here. Let's eat. Proper, like meaty, like they're so full and chunky. I approve. I, I'm interested in going straight, in, straight for this thing. What is this? I have no idea. I mean, I feel like I really have to capture like, <laughs> 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 the camera. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but let's see. <laughs> 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 So fresh. It's really good. Very tasty. Okay. Big one of wasabi. Can you eat all of that? Yeah. It's really strong wasabi. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and then it just goes right around your little sinuses. My eyes are watered. Yeah, it's really strong. Ooh. It lingers too. That was a mistake. <laughs> Obviously enjoyed this so much that we've hung about here eating that the place is completely empty. We're the last ones here, but that food was incredible. If you are into vegan sushi at all, or forget vegan, even if you're just into sushi, you need to come check this place out. It is so good. I'm not just saying that. We've tried a lot of vegan sushi in our life. A lot of the time, it kind of really tastes like fish. This place was so good and my recommendation if you come here is to try the fried, what was it? Um, fried cream cheese sushi roll because it was heaven. That was good. It was all really good. Yeah. Food is great. If it's vegan, even better. It was so good and for like a set menu, it was only 93 Turkish lira. Like that's pretty good. Yeah, it was very delicious. Let's go to the next place. Yeah, baby. Pizza? Okay. <laughs> hey Michael, how was your experience? It was, was it great. <laughs> Did you love it? I loved it. Hey Verdi, <laughs> how was your experience? <laughs> pizza man is nice. So it's like midnight on a Sunday night and this pizza place is still open. It's got a big sad vegan pizza sitting in the window, so gotta grab a slice. Can't leave a girl there going cold, you know? Rude not to. You couldn't be hungry. I mean, I am, but also even if I wasn't, you can't say no to a slice of pizza. You're like a full of sushi right now? Yeah, that was hours ago. We've been like sitting, chatting and enjoying the city for ages now. Yeah. I'm just going to do a wee spin for you. So this is like the kebab food spin. after a night out? I can't believe it's literally midnight here. 
Is it? Am I making that up? It's no, midnight. It's like that. And like everyone's heaving, people are still eating, people are still chatting. Like this place is proper alive. I'm not like you know drunk, sloppy alive. Like just actually buzzing. It's when you look buzzing. at your phone and it's like 8 p.m. No, it's definitely midnight. Mm. It's cool. I approve. Give us a test. What did you get? <gasps> are they? Am I allowed one? Yeah. <laughs> They're vegans. <laughs> Bye. They have two balls as well. Okay, I haven't tasted it yet, but. I'm excited. I love how in this so in this vegan video, it's just going to be me filming you eat the food. We already decided that was what it was going to be. Let's have a ten. It's garlicky. <laughs> what more could a girl want? Garlic bread. <laughs> Probably get through that one. Yeah. I mean, obviously it's been sitting out there going cold, so we reheated it for me. But not like in a microwave. It must have been on like the hot pizza plate or something because it's actually really nice and crispy. Like a proper pizza oven. What's this? A microwave. Oh, you're so annoying. So we're in Katakoi now in the Asian side of Istanbul and we've come to a little spot called Vegan Narcissist. We actually came here because we got takeout on our first night in Istanbul with these guys and it was so good that we thought we'd have to come down and try it out in person. I'm going to try some of this traditional Turkish drink. Wow. Oh, I was not expecting that. Oh. <laughs> this is called Iran. And, but because... Uh, Ran, am I saying it wrong? <laughs> anyway, it's usually made with yogurt, but because we're obviously in a vegan place, they call it Kash Ran, Kashi yogurt. Even though he described it and said that it was mixed with mint, salt, and water, in my mind, I've still expected it to taste like a milkshake, so it's actually really cool. like nothing I've ever tasted before. I mean, I actually don't know how to describe it. I literally, I'm no comparison. There is nothing I can compare it to. It smells minty. Wow. So, so what could you compare that to after laughing at me? It's really interesting. I literally don't know how to describe it. I feel like it's more like a dip Doritos. Uh, yeah, I know, I'd like to it's dip like flatbread in it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's exactly what it is. Like it. Enjoy your drink, Keely. So if you guys have tried Iran, please let us know down in the comments how you would describe this because I literally don't actually know how to put into words what this tastes like. For other people out there who might be watching this, let them know down in the comments because we did a terrible job of describing that. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> here is absolutely delicious and the owner has told me that uh, these are all his own recipes and from his family. I'm doing this work about five years. Yeah. I used to work in, in a bank before okay. but I left my work and I started to cook mm -hmm. and uh, I love so much cook and uh, with my family we are in this business and our restaurant traditional Turkish kitchen all kebabs as vegan is the first in Turkey and in the world and uh, I got these recipes and I gave, gave it to mom and uh, she prepared all foods all of them from my mother's hands yeah. yeah like that if you are in Istanbul definitely come here it's really delicious the menu is massive thank you so much thank you very so much good. bon appetit thank you. I just love that Turkish food it does like mixes of loads of little stuff you've seen it with the breakfast and now with this it's just such a different way to eat like we're not used to that at all back home this is cool okay what are you trying I think it's more of like a soy. Can you describe that as like a soy meat type? Meatball? Like kind of like a, yeah, it's, it's kind of like a kebab, like a like meatball thing. It's good. I'm going to try this thing in the middle. Yeah. Cabbage or something? Mm -hmm. That's been tasty. Mm -hmm. Everything is very tasty. This was a, a good call. Mm. I mean, I thought it looked like a sweet pepper or something, but Verity says it's spicy, so I'm a bit scared. It's right now. Oh no, it's literally full chili. It's literally full. Oh, freaking out. It's a grower, so it starts being pickly, and now it's got really hot, and I feel my cheeks getting really red. <laughs> so we absolutely annihilated all of that food. It was absolutely delicious. He came and asked if we wanted dessert, so we couldn't say no. They have a mad selection here, and I was asking what one of his favourite is, and then Imre, the owner guy here, was like, I couldn't choose. So we went for the one that left the most chocolatey. Ooh, good chip. It looks really good. 
It's nice because it doesn't taste like, it's not sickly sweet. It's got like a bready texture, it's like trifle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, this is a bit jelly. Oh my word, it is like a trifle. Oh yeah, that's so good. That is insane. That is really good. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. <laughs> So Istanbul has like a million different cafes and probably the majority of them have vegan options but this place we just wanted to show because it's a little independent place run by a husband and wife and their little kid and they make everything from scratch. They make their own milk from tahini, I've never had tahini milk before. They made these little like olive paste po pooches? Pucha? <laughs> Pucha. And they just made these so they're nice and fresh and hot. They made their own brownies and cookies but literally just fresh out of the oven and they don't use any refined sugar. They make their own chocolate, like cocoa beans to a bar and they make their own chocolate, that's crazy. So sometimes it's nice to just come support something that's a little family run thing. I'm gonna try this tahini coffee and tell you whether it's any good, let's see. Is it nubby? Oh, it's actually good, man. I don't even know how to do it. I don't know what it tastes like, tahini probably, but it's good. This is insane. We actually have a police escort run. That was the worst, most stressful thing ever. What happened?